Mr. Twala, yesterday before we adjourned, you described what happened during the identification parade that, that was held in Peter Marisbeck in January of 2017. Uh, so Mr. Twala. Uh, Yes. You testify that you pointed out a person who had similar features as suspect number one who was in the house. Yes. If one looks at exhibit T1, paragraph 21. Subparagraph so four, this is now the identification parade form. A note was made. Subparagraph 24. Yes. Yes. To the following effect looks like the one in front that had like the gun, he had the same features as well. He was present when Senzo Meiwa was shot. Are you able to verify that paragraph? Uh, the scat being betang peg and a woman, Gampe and Ampera, and the numbers of us about Buza one. Who would say I get coin and him find the side of something in Bonai? Okay. Uh, as I explained that I was asked a question uh, or told that uh, to have a proper look, and then I was asked this question Is there no one that I see or that I'm able to see? Yebo? And then uh, we respond to Amin Rashongati, a corner and Bonai on a similar features. In my response, I then said, there is one that I see, or that I can see, who has similar features. And then from La Posen Kretili, La Basbang, Buza Konwut, Imu Piloyo, Ngasenga, Ngakomba, Lumteng Komba. When I was done, they then asked me, which one is it? I then pointed out to the person that I was pointing out. And Emva, when we shoot Emva, we Komba, Lo Muntunga, Bona, Sebem Sundays, Sebem Tats, Sebem Bere Tuzewake. And immediately, immediately when they are local, Okay. And uh, when that happened, I then saw them bringing the person closer.
taking me closer to the person and then uh, taking pictures that is then when i called what is about uh i called i think we lead investigating officer oh mr kinidi gamchela got lo mundo angishu kutu yena ngithi una ma similar features na lo mundo owayesendlini owayehamba phambili angisho kodwa ukuthi uyena i called the lead investigator mr kininda and informed him that this person that i'm pointing out i am not saying that it is him but he's got similar features as the person uh, that was in front uh, that was in the house and who was in front in response ya ke kwaba ukuthi uma ngasamkhumutsi wayibeka kanjani kodwa washa ukuthi eh no siyakuza nathi siyakuza ukuthi uyashutha kuyena his response was although i am not able to put it specifically as he said it but he said to me no we are we do hear you that you are saying it's not him Right, what happened further after this identification parade regarding this matter? Nothing happened. They never said anything up to the stage when I then saw it, saw it in court. If we can briefly revert to the incidents in the house, you mentioned that you, when you were there in the kitchen during the scuffle, you had a shot. Did you see who discharged this shot? Ushilo be uguti ngati kunale se scuffle the kitchen. Wase wezwa ge ukuma be spam. Ingabe wabo na yin uguti ubani o wa kumisa spam. No man is in the shooting garbon with banana cruises pam, quarter, is careful sassy between who sends or Nalo Munta Petis pam. Although I petis pam, of the shoot to Yenu and Cruises pam. Although I won't be able to say specifically as to who discharged the shot, but the scaffold was between Senzo, it is now the deceased, and the person that had the firearm. So, most uh, definitely, the person who discharged the shot was the one who had the firearm. Did you see where the shot that was discharged struck? Ingaba wabona yin uguti leso spam leso esa kunyiswa uguti sasha ya gupine ndao. Ka, angbona. No, I didn't see. Was that the only shot that you heard? Iso na pela leso. Nama wezo anje logo kuma wezo spam gu pela. Zutu, so kala nga siswa. So na list, kwa sababu sasa sisi ni sisi bilinga sisi wa on my way. At the same point, the same point bila sisi kile, the same kile shona sisi pumpi. So that's when I might have had the second shot. Two, uh, that's the first one, which uh, when I was still in the house, and then the uh, second one was uh, when I was on my way out uh, of the house. I might have had the second shot. And so where precisely were you at that stage? Wagupi, nenda wanga leso skatles. Anga pante, if Mr. Pengizo kumbisa ngei tombe, just musuzo shula nga se, nga se mpompin, uji le mpompin la. I was outside, but if I were to show you using the pictures, just as I was about, as I was about to pass uh, the tap. I'll show you photo six of exhibit D. I'll say that um, I um, heard it more or less when I was uh, here, the witness showing um, just outside the house on the paving. So, how many shots in total did you hear? That's two. Two. You mentioned that the first suspect had a, a hat on. Are you able to describe that hat? Mshila kuguti owa kala umsola owa ye tole iskogo u misi msogo tunga straza leso skogo leso? Eh, yunga kazi kutu iskogo nsh. Jemeng shiguta, ayy. Nga shi tlapi skogo leso chua lukufara 
I don't know how to describe it, but the witness is indicating using his hands from the front uh, to the back, but it's not a cap and it's mo mostly uh, worn by the elderly. Sorry, are you saying it has a brim? I don't know if, what is a brim of a hat in Zulu. Mr. Interpreter. Because when he describes it like this, if this case goes anywhere else, they, don't, they are not present. Is it a brim? I still don't know what a brim would be in his Zulu, my lord. Hey, my lord. Oh. Who knows but what a sure brim is in Zulu? I'm sorry, I'm sure. The Minister of what? The Minister of Police, Mr. Yeah, Beggy okay. He yes. normally puts in those fedoras. So it brim, it brim. Yeah, that's then that's it more have, like so that's what I'm describing. Okay, more like that's a brim. Like this is a brim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. You I say something. Sorry, Susan. I thought your colleague wants to say something. My Lord, also I've got a problem that the, the explanation for the head did not come from the witness, my Lord. No, no, look, he demonstrated it. It's not coming from me. We are on in Janile. You see, it's not me. It's, so it's him. It's more or less than that. I'm saying, sure, but now it's being asked, so it's being asked. It's more or less what the court is saying. I'm not saying the court is speaking on my behalf, and the witness also added again that it's worn by the elderly. And I was just uh, explaining that uh, when he demonstrates the brim, singer, singer, and I sit, sit for a bunch of dal. If it goes anywhere, this record is useless unless you explain what he is demonstrating. Unless you, Ms. Ms. Mshola, Mshola, you say I'm wrong. No, my daughter. Okay, fine, thanks. Okay. <coughs> you mentioned that uh, alcoholic refreshments were purchased at a nearby tavern. Uh, did you partake of this alcoholic refreshments. Ushilo ge uguti kwa tema ipu sana mage kwa tema wage e uchwa la ge gui na we e ta e gustolo ge na ma itewe na ta isai. Ngabe na we wapu zai ni kula uchwa la gob. Yes, I did. Yes. What did you drink? Wapu zani. Wapu zani hunters gold. I was drinking. Ken. Hunters gold cans. I think it's three thirty or three forty. I think it's three thirty or three forty. The small ones. And how many did you drink? Wapuza Amangagi. Wapuza two. It was tart to Lalu Vulu. I drank two. But the third one was open when the incident occurred. What was the state of your sobriety when the incident occurred? Gati e Scamego, the Sensei Gaga, or Gussi Pugo, Sim and Gitu Puzil, Puzamacana, or two. Gussi Pugo is Simo, U Tagiwe, out of Ugussi Pisimo, or my Nobu Soba. And so I was sober. And earlier on in your evidence, you did mention that Kelly's mother did serve you a meal. Is that correct? Uh, yep. Yes. Okay. Um, Mr. When you and Tumelo Madala went out to smoke, for how long were you there outside? 
ngathi wena ngitumela niphumake eyobe mutumela ngaphandle na nani ngaphandle isikhathi esingakanani Uh, before you pendule and go boots, would say, Are you counting now? Let's cut this in a parrot, or are you just counting? Uh, just before I answer, the gate, right? are you just uh, counting? Are you including the time when you're inside as well, or only the time when you're outside outside of the gate? No, or only the time when you're outside the gate and also there at the tip. Now let's cut in a pan, the AK Tini, now let's cut in the same bomb bin. Champion Ash would say, Roughly, Obama Puman said, Sakulumanai. Roughly 20 25 minutes, 30 lap. Roughly 20 25 30 minutes because even Senzo came out and we had a chat with him. And when you were outside for that period that you've just mentioned, did you drink any alcohol during that period? Ngale skati ninga panje eke ngabe kona uchwale na puza ngale so skati deso ni panje. Aika. No. Yesterday you mentioned that at some point you re-entered the house and took up the same positions as before. Ushilo gizolo uguti nasen buela ge enzi nige na sala na de yon jela leyo enani sezi ngayo na pamlin. Yeah, that's correct. And then the two persons as we described then enter the house. Wasusho uguti kwa senge nage labanta babili. Yep. Yes. What was the time lapse, or after how long, uh, having re-entered the house, did the two persons enter the house? Uh, we move. We start this. Ngakana nige nige nile. Umase nibu yela ngapanje. Unge na wala baba bili. Ish. The man asa kumbulga. Sigo tanga sisi oni skati si tega kulu. Although I can't remember properly, but it was not that long uh, a time. Then are you able to give an estimate more or less what time was it when the two persons entered the house? Uh, if the conversation and uh, I'd be committing myself, uh, but uh, because I'm also trying now to think, uh, to think as to how long the conversation uh, took, because Kelly was imitating uh, some dancers. I uh, asked maybe more than 15 minutes, I'm not sure, because I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do this, but you're going to be able to do this. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. I don't know, maybe. It wasn't a long time, maybe about 15 minutes, because as I said that we were waiting for Senzo to say his goodbyes. And yesterday you testified that everything happened fast. Are you able to say what the duration of the whole incident was? Ushiloge izolo uguti konke kwenzega mokshesha. Ngabu ngashe yinyi uguti iskamego le sisi sonke sata tiskatis nganan. Should be estimated from Muxuga to Minang Puma and Pandem Nyango. Exactly, we just want to find out yes. exactly what they're referring to. Yes. Less than yes. five minutes, Akshesh. Yes. Uh, it was quick. Yes. We were yes. referring now to the time when the two suspects entered up until we left the kitchen. Yes. Yeah, boom. Sure, boom. And how was the visibility at that stage? 
There was visibility in the house, the TV was on, uh, the, the lights were, were, were on. Mention in these proceedings has been made of a Netflix documentary produced by 1010 Films. Do you know anything about it? Netflix, Films. Yes, there is. Yes. Uh, in documentary, I was approached by Ustan from the Ustan, I think, or what's that? My number was actually Ustan, Ustan Podcast Senzo. I was approached by Stan, uh, it's Senzo's uh, brother, uh, and they got my they got my numbers from so they got my numbers from Stan. Bang Jela and a documentary about Natan Dutz and Begiona, Bang Kazel, which I send or so, Bissabe, Lega Sens or Asenzo as Umga and Baba Director Gumin. That they would uh, like me to be a part of the documentary. They'd gone to Senzo's uh, family or place and uh, they were told about my me being Senzo's friend and they were, yeah, they were directed to me. And then, basa bang kaze lage i reason yet documentary na nuguti isosi zaranja na nuguti bafuna u display u kulawa sense on up until as I figure we PSL. They then told me the purpose or the reason behind the documentary that they would also like to as to how it was going to assist and also to just show. How Senzo grew up up to the level where he got to play in the PSL. No Zwana, the way to Ungoba, born a Babeti, Lababe, a corner, Babe, and a pirate, not a pirate, Baba Jim Tunga, and the Senzo Sasmas, why try to sell a night, a winner. That they had also visited uh, Orlando Pirates, that is now the team. Also, there they were informed about Senzo's friend that they knew about or that they know about who used to spend time with Senzo, that it was me. And Google gong ke loko ge nga nga bogo bagi oni documentary. In all of that, I refused to be a part of the documentary. Kumi na it was not a valid statement or valid way or valid in jukuna fugu tsinga bagi documentary. Nga nga tan bagi oni. Wa nga siona ge into iba mbega mi na fugu tsinga bagi nga niya yo. I didn't like to be a part of it. Mainly because the young have had bad experience before when it came to isn't they fun and meet the arrange? I've been to bank trailer arrange. We're going to be going to a so Caesar will send. But we know we mean a foot moon to moon. Mainly because I had bad experience uh, with regard uh, to the media, where I had also been approached in something that had to do with Usenzo, and I ended up being the bad person. Uh, my approach and mainly after seeing a bill. Okay. Uh, they then approached my legal representative the second time when I had down the refused, and then the third time they came to my parental house. I think Tabi or Toby or I pregnant at a time when I fought one Kazela and one Kazela. The reason you would say I'm a born to write documentary without Utina, especially in the sense of Bonga Nwak. But I'm going to tell you about the details. 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 Who was pregnant at the time, Tabi or Toby approached me. She repeated, explained to me about the documentary and that it wouldn't be a documentary without us, and especially me, uh, who was uh, Senzo's friend. Uh, but then I knew that uh, uh, at the beginning, or in the initial uh, stages, uh, it all is well, but then uh, uh, in the end, uh, it will now uh, uh, go to the details, where they will ask me about what had happened in the house, and I didn't go into that because I knew that I wasn't allowed to get into the merits. <coughs>
Did you ever participate in the making of that documentary? Nope, all that's no, I never. You have just mentioned that you had a bad experience with the media about the deceased Mr. Senzo Meio. What are you referring to? We should look at the moment to go show the man to go to the bad experience in the media. My lage na logo oksanga nisa usenzo ubusu trina kuba uwe no muntu mu ukulumangan. There was a time la ustani futi putka senzo weza eka yagmi na ehamba no 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 puti. Uh, there was a time when I was approached by the very same gentleman who is Senzo's brother, I referred to as Stan, who was in the company of uh, Manjana, Man Manjana? Soweto. Soweto Manjana, where they were, oh, sorry, Manjanzi, where they wanted me to form part or to be a part of a book that they were to write about Senzo. Uh, we then went to Senzo's parental home, where Senzo's father was still alive at the time. Uh, the Senzo's father then explained to me that uh, the book wouldn't be complete without me being a part of it, and that uh, to them I was now allowed like a child to them. Okay. Uh, I ended up agreeing because Senzo's father had spoken to me, but uh, not without mentioning that. Uh, but I wasn't uh, Senzo's only friend. Uh, Senzo had other friends as well, and I also gave them those, uh, the names of those friends. Okay, all in all, Ngago and Zag and Gay and documentary, but is it Dangi Kulum and isn't dying boozers or no so wet? Messes say Sepugini, section Chile Segue, any in. Okay, I ended up then doing the documentary, but then the things that I was saying, um, the things that I mentioned, and uh, the questions that were posed to me by Soweto, when now the book had been written or was completed, now those things had now changed. Uh, all, uh, Okay, from chapter one up until chapter chapter one and the key points is not issue is wrong as it is sure I mean and listen to art is a show about your band to give correct corner look but I got long is a people in our my lord I then pointed out certain things uh, because those things are from a certain chapter chapter one I don't know which chapter uh, at the end and also highlighted those that he had to rectify that he alleged to have been said by myself and other people before the publishing of the book because ngang bonu wuti the public is about the information wrong. But if you know what the ngang wenza ngaga lo, what the netuzo wenza yangizwa, what the ngang wenza ngaga lo, what was the wal keeper ipugu la la publishwa. Because I I could see that the public would then uh, have this wrong uh, information, and uh, he then said to me that okay, I hear what you are saying, and I am going to do it. But he ended up not doing it. And the book was published without those being rectified. For which Ngabon would on his part see why you're wrong in a look. No be put a tata two days will fund. The fourth day I'm sending a young kedeonto, Kagu Chanwar and send the lip will publish a month and the February. Okay. Uh because my lord it took me about that was wrong of him, and it took me about uh, two days to read uh, the book, and then on the fourth uh, day I then sent him my consents. Uh, it was in January, and the book was going to be published at the month end of February. Yeah, all in all, what today I went to Angaloko, Ngase Nimvuleli Tala for Loko. All in all, he ended up not doing that, and I uh, opened the case against him for that. So, the Netflix, 
So the same applies with the Netflix. I saw no reason to be a part of it, of it no matter how much they then uh, asked me. Yesterday you described the assault that was perpetrated on you. Did you take any steps regarding the assault? Isolo ushilo genoma wakuluma genende la owa shayo angayo ingaba ikona yini nyatelo owa itata maela nalo wakushayo logo? Yes, the way? Yes. Uh, ngaba vulilitala. I opened the case. Gavulela ye na u teles lumamu englandekaya no makubo. against uh Utelezi, the lady that fed me at home and Makubo. So if Kala lag Nova Makala ma poisa ngaz utagi I pit. So Nalisos Katsiga by Sabu I pit because based on, on my knowledge, police related matters are referred to the IP. Uh Yebo. I IP Yafiga I think guy in seventeen, go back to Labafi in seventeen, call a lunches. I think when I'm seventeen, there's a thirty date man. Visited me once at my workplace because I remember the com them coming to my workplace uh, in taking statements. I will poison, I will mama with Mutas Fazan and then daughter, and a baby to give the long back as it's going again. It was a female as well as a male, and they were also shocked when I was uh, telling them as to what happened. Basse Bati Bazoli, Bazo Kubana AKC. Quarter was Ruby Manch. Last day, and I saw for us no Miller, Mr. Rogers, who was who saw for not twice as he was with the case, Ganjani, Bazabang Jello with the case, Sishinchi, where Isigo Munu investigating officer, but the Marazabang Jellyman. And then, my lord, they told me that they were going to proceed with the matter. Uh, but uh, up until now, nothing has happened. And last year, myself and my legal representative, Mr. Mr. Rogers, contacted them, and then they informed us that now they changed investigating officer. The case was now with a different investigating officer. So now, look, I will start my police on as pet. That also doesn't sit well with me because we are under the police's control. Thank you. You mentioned the deceased brother, whom you say it's Stan Meiwa. Did you see him during the period after the deceased was shot? Upulumila ngomfuwa boga mufi ustan, namustan. Ngabage emufa kukuti umufi watu chulwa. Uge wambon? Yeah, buge wambon. Yes, many times. But in, in, in that week, did you have contact with him in, in the week in which the disease was? was yep. Yes. Yep. Can you just briefly de describe the circumstances? It was on a Sunday when Senzo passed away. It was on a Sunday when Senzo passed away. On a Tuesday, and Stan uh, arrived in Johannesburg on a Tuesday. Eh, hamba no. Kwa fana fia no babu akwa kwa shuru tu babage wa agnes training kwa fana zinze eh tewe na banta babi figa gien. Uh, he so. was supposed to come together with his father, but it so happened that the father had to attend to a lot of matters in Durban wa and also people that were coming to him. Sorry. Wa figa eh hamba no no bongan kono mgani tutu bongan. He came with Bongani. We have a friend called Bongani. I'm Langeni. Langeni. Uh, we are going to airport. Balanda airport with the company at the Kama police. I remember they were fetched at the airport together with, or in the company of the police. Uh, because we sent the assassin movie a booty long to a government mochoir, which was a James Dean, if I'm not mistaken. Sahamba Sai James Dean to identify Umzimba Senzo. Uh, because Senzo had been moved from uh, Butsilong uh, to a government mortuary in Jamestown, so we went to Jamestown mortuary to identify uh, Senzo's uh, body. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That will be sufficient. Uh, okay.
And finally, sir, so you mentioned yesterday that you made a statement on the on the Monday. Did you make any other statements thereafter? To Shilo Gizo, the good goodness statement or a sense among some blue. In every move of a local scholar, in a senior statement or a sense. Yeah, Zikon. Zikon. Yes, they are. Yes. Do you remember how many statements you have? Also, come to the bag. Hi, Zining. Many. Zining statement is an anger sense. I made many statements. And was it explained to you as to why you had to make all these statements? In about as well, I in John, but I'm in close, so you go to any statement, they ning. I am Kumbo, Babby Figa told you the case be petrol, Labas, Chinchi, let's say we, Labas, Tasa, Babby Thomas, Shabashuranjal, about what I said, Petway, it's Fosdora, Sissi Petro, Ban, I say Kobu, Sago, Ban Ban, Manjafan, Talibans, Bangas, Wooden, Guba, Bang, Buzum, Buz, so Banning. Explanations that they were giving was that the case is now no longer handled by this investigating team, the case is now no longer under Fosdora, it is now being referred to a certain place. Thank you, my lord. These are the only aspects we wanted to take up with the witness. Hello. These are the okay. only aspects we wanted to take up okay. with Thank you. Yes, sir. Any cross part on behalf of number one and two? Indeed, my lord. I'm indebted. Uh, morning, Mr. Twala. Morning, sir. Now, in order for us to go forward, let me go back a bit. <coughs> Your testimony is that on the 25th of October 2014, you spent the night over at Kelikumalos and Senzo's place of residence in Malbatin, correct? Uh, yes. That's correct. And the people that slept at that place were yourself, Senzo Meiwa, Kelly Kumalo, and Zandile Kumalo, correct? Correct. And before you went to bed, were you at some stage during that evening accompanied by other people in that household? Explain the circumstances around you meeting those people and perhaps if you know them and their agendas. Uh, uh, it was a male and the female, I never interacted with them. I just saw them standing there and then they left. What I want to get uh, at, and I'm just polishing on this point, is that w was the male person that you saw that night, Longwe Twala? I don't remember, uh, and I also think that if it was him, I would have been able to recall because I saw him the following day, but I don't remember, I don't know, and as I said that he was at a distance from me, and I never spoke to him. Okay. Let's now move to the incident of the 26th of October 2014. Uh, your testimony is that in the morning of that day, you, Kelly Kumalo Senzo Meiwa, uh, and Zandile were supposed to go to a party of 
Roy Mahamudzas, correct? Shiva Gut Labanda Babali Loka Fanya Guti near Patin Badaway. Yebo? Yes. And if I understood your testimony correctly, is that you did not arrive at that venue, correct? What do I get? And is a new figure? Yep, yes. Now, Zandile Kumalo testified in this matter, and on this aspect, she testified as follows that in, indeed you went to that venue where the go karting event was going to be as part of Ray Mahamuta's party. Obakege upfaga zuzandile uche na yage la iko cutting ya izo bako na yage kumsela yu na yage ipati kato yu mahamuta and when you got to that venue sezo me you got out of the car and it is when that they realized that the preparations for the party were not ready and thereafter you then went to the Rothenyembe park eh umanifika kona lapo wage wase usenzo esa age emutwini Ila konage kwa tola gala konage ugutita Ugulumsele lawe gulumsele lawe nage ipati leo kwa nge gata etwa Na seni hamba kukusura lapo nye eto kofi nyembe Pak Angkwazi ni minu ugusho lukuga kwa zanti Angkwazi kwa tenge kisho ya minu azangi sisa sifu ya ipati I cannot say that which is said by Zandi I don't know but what I'm saying is that we never reach the venue of the party. Njoba ngushili uti sangena kwinte ngati mall or complex sangena e wimpi. So tengu kuhu sa suga from e wimpi sa driver back to SOS. As I said that we drove into some sort of a center or a mall. We went to wimpi, we bought food and we drove to Soweto. As guys is figured shit up. We never reached the venue. Now at that venue, Dorothy Nyembe Park, your testimony is that you were made to sit in a tent in a VIP section, correct? Yes, I said so. That's true. In that VIP section, did you drink alcohol that day at the Rotinyembe Park? We have VIP section at the Rotinyembe. I'm not supposed to draw that. No. Now, your testimony is that after Kelly Kumalo and Zandile Kumalo had finished their performances, you then decided to leave Dorothy Nyembe Park, correct? Yes. Yes. And you drive to your hometown, which is Katle Hong. What was the purpose thereof? Ago buti mina goba gang shoot gang sab kuri mpasi zote from izolo gang izosal goba kanga sanga nji zinde sasa leo si phone la zasi kanga sanga so gang izosal mina gazu timi ya sal. It was to leave me there because I was still wearing the same clothes that I was wearing the previous day and the plans were just not coming together so I was going to be left behind. And did you eventually got dropped off at home? Was it actually? Yeah. Yes. And your testimony is that after some time, uh, Senzo Meiwa calls you again to say, where are you? You tell him that you are at home, and he says he's coming to pick you up because they are going to fetch Imelo Madala, correct? Yes. Ask me where I was. I said I was at home. Change. Let's go. I wanted to know where we were going. That's where he told me about Tumelo. It was over the phone when he informed me about Tumelo. Uh, roughly after how many minutes after dropping you off did you call you about this aspect of going to pick up Tumelo Madala? Now you've testified as well that you are, you know Tumelo Madala. What is the nature of your relationship with him? Is he an acquaintance? Is he a best friend? Is he a close friend? What's your relationship? 
Utumelo a gengs and issues um ganwam. I would say he's my friend. Gimazi through Usenzo. I know him through Usenzo. So Usenzo sometimes with me is a mina, clap is a mina, Mlaska, a swagger cake, Uhamba and Tumel. I know him Sabang, Sasabangan, Yatra, and I am by Am Namangi Nayaka, but Sasna Bonabangan with Sasna Shangan if Usenzo. We were not friends. Uh, he had my number, I had his number. Uh, I knew him uh, through Usenzo because he was Senzo's friend. Uh, you would find when Senzo was coming to visit me at the AA section in Umlazi, coming from the K section, he would come in the company of Tumelo. And you would never uh, get together myself and Tumelo not, uh, without Senzo. In your evidence in chief, you testified that Makumalo and perhaps you will clarify that one for me, and perhaps Andile Kumalo were using Tumelo Madala's crutches to assault the assailants or the suspect in the house, correct? Uh, That's correct. Now, from that aspect of your version, that will lead me to deduce that Utumelo Madala was carrying an injury of some sort, correct? Yes, yes. Can you, perhaps from your physical out, uh, outward observation of Tumelo, what was the nature of that injury? No matter how cumbully that, but why the male? I ask the male look pose. I'm seven zero. My male men, but I why I'm not pugil. I'm not going to give my love to a pugil. I'm going to go camp. Why go to camp without even a crashes? Why the male? I think look pose or read. Must be far away or casting. I said, "Look at that. What injury? I'm going to injure him cool." It wasn't a uh, major injury. I think it was a twerk where he got injured, and it was his big toe. And it was not a situation where that he was broken or he had broken a leg or. Because he could even walk without the crutches. <coughs> and now you you pick up to Melo Madala from a highway somewhere in, in spread view of Osloras and then you proceed to Makumalo's house, correct? <laughs> Yes. Before, we went somewhere before going to Port Royal. So there was a detour to go and buy alcohol drinks before you went to Makumalo's house, correct? Yes. 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 I mean, the point is neither here nor there, but Zandile Kumalo testified that from picking up Tumelo Madala, you proceeded straight to her house, and when you arrived at her house, you realized that you hadn't bought alcohol, then it is then that you went back to buy alcohol, but nothing turns on that. You may comment if you want. Uh, Naya Gibo uh, a phosphorus. Got Dragoman figure up or any rap no pume motwin. Nabona Bobuti Adi Puzo, Nahamba, the Naya window, I tell us under the make cars of Uga Quimbo's tavern, Nayo Tenga Conal Ujra. I am Kumbulanjal. I don't remember it like that. Now, with respect to the alcohol that was bought at the tavern, uh, let, let's, let's talk about the kinds of alcohol. We saw on the photos during Zandile Kumalo's testimony, we only saw uh, a can of Heineken and a can of Guarana, but you say you also consumed uh, Hunter's Gold, correct? We told you that the Heineken is the Heineken, the Heineken is the Guarana, but we are not going to get the Hunter's Gold. Yes, that's true. And specifically for you, the hunter's gold that you uh, that you drank, how many quantities were bought for you? Kok tengwe no ma wau tenge lwe ama hunter's gold amanga giwe na. Oh six six. 
Now, you go to Makumalo's house, and now in the car, it's yourself, Kelly Kumalo, Zandile Kumalo, and Tumelo Madala. And, and Senzo, of course, correct? No, in the car, as you travel to Makumalo. Oh, no, yes. No, in the car, as you travel to Makumalo. Yes. And at Makumalos, you find her plus the two children belonging to Kelly Kumalo, correct? Yes. Now, let's move forward, and I'm not going to crack your head with the time that Longwe arrived before, because the phone records show that he arrived at Makumalos' place at just before 7, exactly at 18.57 p.m. That will be correct according to your recollection, correct? Okay, so you have arrived at Makumalo's house. The thing is, I don't know Longwe, so I'm, no, I'm in no position to describe his demeanor. I saw him for the first time, or I was seeing him for the first time. I'm, I'm asking you this in the context that we are all Africans, if I get into a house, whether I know you or not, the first thing that I'll do is to greet. I'm talking in the context of your testimony yesterday when you say you don't recall long way greeting you, but specifically you remember him and Senzo Meiwa greeting each other. Is that correct? Yes, I said so that I personally don't remember or don't recall him greeting, but someone else might come and dispute that, but I'm referring to myself, but him and Senzo, but when it comes to you, you know, you know, you know, you know, uh, I saw the two of them, him and Senzo, greeting each other uh, because I could see them greeting each other. I then asked Senzo, who is this guy? Okay. And, and on that one, you anticipated my next question. On that one, when you asked Senzo, who's this guy, did he say it's his name or did he give the name and the relation? to a, a certain person in the house. Uma ubuzo sense go to ban lo mjiti. Ukne wagnike zikamala kume kwendula noma wa mshanga nisa no munto tize o waye kona lapo enjin. Wagnike kamala ke noma watu wa mshanga nisa no munto o lapo enjin. I wagnche ngati ya ngati washu wasi wagnchela no gutu u ban lo munto u gutu washu tu mchita gazanti. He said that it's, uh, I think he told me who the guy is and also told me that it was Zandi's guy. Uh, because I could see that indeed it was Zandi's guy because he even sat next to Zandi, but we then proceeded with the conversation that we're having. Now, on a question that was touched by my learned friend, uh, Advocate Baloi, I just want clearance on that one. How long after Longwe's arrival did the two suspects then arrive in the house? after A lot happened after Longwe came in. Uh, because Senzo was outside uh, where that happened, and uh, we even went out uh, would go and smoke. 
and uh, when Longwa was un uh, inside the house. Now, let, let, let's talk about the two suspects arriving. And you say the first suspect to arrive was the one carrying a firearm, correct? That's correct. And this firearm from the first suspect, was it immediately upon entry pointed at the people in the house or how was it held as he entered the house? Let's just spam let's see get in Abe Wati J U Mengen and Lini was a combanga so banta paragent in Noma or is Bambe Ganjan. Egging a go shoot in Jemengi shoot whom gena wake one gena envawa kelang it. So my gena ukeli e balega e kubega minanga kumsang bubu sent. Okay. As I said that uh, he came in or as he came in, uh, he was behind the Kelly. And Kelly ran, and then he proceeded. And then, at that moment, I looked at Senzo. Yebo. And then I looked at. Uh, then looked at him and saw that this is a firearm. Not that he had pointed it at a particular individual or person, but uh, sort of swerved it. But I don't know how to describe it, that, but was swerving it. But I could see that it was a firearm. And. Just for, 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 for brevity's sake, you see this uh, first suspect with a firearm standing next to, remember from the pictures, next to the passage in the vicinity of the heater. Is that correct? Yes. But at, at, at some stage, or at any stage during that incident of him with the firearm, <coughs> did he at any stage point it at the people in the house? Mm -hmm. So obviously my combo of answer combo moon. So Jeben shoots why swell this pam. I get coming to directly I am comb, but in gas boost pam sabonaga mean and gaspon was snagger right. Uh there is no way that you would be able to point six people at the the same time or at once. Uh so uh, if it he was pointing, he would have been pointing to a particular person. But as I said that he was serving it and I saw the firearm. Then your testimony is that that first suspect then demands money and cell phones from the people in the house, correct? What's up for the cell phones? Yebo? Yes. In what language was that demand for money ulim. and cell phones made? May I explain that well? Yeah, good. Umuntu Owangena Indian Wafuna Umani and cell phones, which is Ikamalesi Ngisla. The person that came into the house said money and cell phones, which is English. But in saying it, he said it in Isizulu. Suit. But okay. But my inclusion of the Isisutu language, I'm saying that because we are in Gauteng. I'm engaged with why Kuman is a suit. Go with this is Zulu, so moon to us and last. This is Zulu, so moon to us and kind of moon. This is Zulu, so moon to us and cut the home as fine. This is a sort of one. Okay. What I'm saying is, I'm not saying that the person said in, in Susutu, but Sisulu spoken by someone from Ganda, Muntu, and Lazi, uh, as well as Sisulu spoken by someone from Katlehong, is not the same, but it's all Sisulu. So give me a lap. That's where I'm standing. I'm pausing. So it's, I, I, I don't even <coughs> going to belabor that point. It's a matter of accent. Accent pronunciation. Accent 
And in, in which hand was that firearm held by the first suspect when he entered the house? This bomb, let's see the suspect will see the sand. Right. Right. And besides those words that demand cell phones and money, did he use any swear word or an expletive? I can't even clamber a search and this cell phones and money. No, I can't remember. And what was the tone of his voice like when he made that demand? The tone of your voice and my pimble like in my voice, okay, I can't jan got a show look. Uh, I don't understand you. Was it an aggressive, loud tone, or was it a gentle tone, like you are saying, cell phones and money? I don't know. I cell phones and money. No, but I don't know. 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 I don't Derogatory and gassy party again, again, to a fort, yeah, my phone, my wagu, shonja, and I got a goose or so. In between, between aggressive and soft tone. I was between the Mutai Funa Indola and Ioneak, so why get us a shake of it? Oh, the between aggressive and uh, soft tone, uh, because he said it and I could hear it, and uh, the, you could hear that this was someone who wanted something that wasn't his, so there's no way that the person would be laughing. Now, as he makes those demands for cell, phone and cell phones and money, did anyone from the house respond verbally to, to that demand? No. And now, would I be correct to say that when you saw the firearm, like you said, you could see now with the firearm that the situation is serious from your earlier perception that this was a joke. But when you saw the firearm, then you knew the, ser the uh, seriousness of the situation. Were you scared at that time? And would it be correct to say also that you testified that you entered into a trauma mode and you were shocked as well? We took we took the foot. Yeah, but yes. And also that the events that were transpiring were happening at lightning speed uh, pace. No, what happened to Yeah, Yes. Had you previously seen these two suspects that entered the house prior to the events of the 26th of October 2014? No, I don't know them. I saw them for the first time. And then you say that the first suspect had a firearm. From which angle did you see the firearm from? relative to where he was standing in that vicinity of the arc and the heater. The angle of the firearm? Yes. Uma usbona ispam, usbona yipi pad, noma ubona lopusham go to respam, uma ngaba usbona. Relative to where you were seated on the couch, according to the seating arrangements that you described yesterday. Lawo fezikon. Yipi pad, yes, pam, oibona, yes. Yes, for example, did you see only the front part as it swelled whatever uh, term you used or on the side of the fire firearm. I would say that I saw a, a little bit of the front part. And do you recall what color was that firearm? Mm -hmm. ah. No. Now before you 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 these two suspects entered what were you paying attention to or what were you doing before they entered, in the immediate period before they entered? 
Ina wau pizin gai. Ma wau pege ni nama ina je awak ngaji wau wau pege yo nama. Saya buku gang min, gang buku kel. Bawa kau ni dia ye describe or engkau tu sot sini. Kau dia ye nzak kau dia ye sot dengan lisho kau dia kau dia dance move ye nzak ye sot untuk season. I was looking at Kelly. There's something that she was describing, demonstrating about a certain church which I am not going to mention. Did you notice the first suspect then when you didn't see him actually entering through the kitchen door, you only saw him at the ark where he was standing, would that be correct? Yes. Yes. And then the second suspect, where did you initially see him for the first time? Nak skat sek sugu ni saya ingat dalam gelaran telefon, lama ngan telefon ni amil angin bawa nak kau nutau, kau nampak muntah speak. Nak skat sebab pusher atau pusher lah nang asy. When we were standing up, and then I was on my way to go and take my phone, I then realised, oh, there is a second person, and now they are pushing each other towards the kitchen. And where did you see him? Angin bawa nak ikut pinen dau. Angin bawa nak gali ngan we ark. On the other side, in the ark. So that will be in the hallway or in 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 the kitchen specifically where? Kona lapo, a passage in there, normal a kitchen. Genga shugu ti between e e e ark lengi show yon e kamera leli eli e kamera leli la la ukelu abalega wangena kwa. Ah, between the ark and the bedroom where Kelly ran into, or which Kelly ran into. Now you're talking about Kelly running into a bedroom that is opposite the kitchen. Uh, did you see the second suspect following after or pursuing Kelly to that bedroom? Did you see the second suspect following after or pursuing Kelly to that bedroom? No. Now, the second suspect following after or pursuing Kelly to that bedroom? No. Did you see the second suspect following for the sake of record purposes. Zandile Kumalo testified in this matter, and with respect to that aspect of Kelly Kumalo running to that bedroom, she said that the second suspect as well followed or ran after Kelly, and Kelly managed to get into the bedroom, and the second suspect was trying to push the door open in which Kelly had run. Kau baca dia buka gaz, uzan dia le, uteh, umang gak bawa ukeli, esok balik gak air bela kamera ke? Lewis beli ke? Naya, bawa sesuatu gak lagi ukeli, futi ke? Umang efiga lapo ke? E pusha ke? Iskapal ya, sesuatu ti e sevule ke? Wak bana in lock. I minangin zaman kul mega kul ngalok. Anguas. I won't say much about that. I don't know. Now you've spoken about visibility. And, and illumination, I won't take you up on that one. Uh, but outside, uh, let's talk about the outside without ambient lighting. Was there ambient lighting or was it dark outside? Uh, it wasn't dark. I don't see us. I would uh, uh, imagine us standing in a dark place. Now you testified as well that the second in, uh, suspect was armed with an object that looked like a knife, a sharp object looking like a knife. Correct? Ushilo uh, go Yes. And let's be clear on that one, and, and I'm going to press you on that one. You know what a knife looks like, correct? Angitu ya wazo mesu kuti uganjan. Yebo? Yes. And something that is anti-knife, that, that is not a knife, you'll know that this is not a knife, correct? Eindo egnasi wana umese, uyazo kuti lop aksu wana umese. Yebo? Yes. So that object, was it a knife or was it not a knife? Manjeke logo wa yikpe tu wako umese, noma kwa kwa suona umese. Umese. A knife. Was it a knife? A knife. 
But in your evidence in chief yesterday, you were you you vacillated and you moved more towards that the object was was not a knife. Did I understand you correctly? And the witness has only said he says so sharp object that looked like a knife. Yeah, this is what he's let, let, let's move on, my lord. We're not going to belabor that point. And in which hand was the suspect holding that knife there? I also can't remember number two. And how far was the second suspect when you observed him holding the knife? Uh, I don't know although I won't be able to say as to how far uh, but uh, 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 even at the time uh, when uh, he was uh, chasing me uh, there was a time when I looked back and uh, when I jumped I could see that he also wanted to jump but he didn't jump and I saw that uh, he still had the knife now, in the context of the scaffold that you described, I'll come to that in some detail, but with respect to this knife in the hand of the second suspect, what did he do with that knife regarding the incident as a whole? I don't know what he did. As I said to that, sorry. Yeah, so again, as I said to that, yes, I saw number two, but I didn't focus on him, so I wouldn't know as to what it is that he did or didn't do with the knife. Now, I, I, and and I, I, I like your frankness on that aspect regarding the second suspect. Did the second suspect, because you say the first suspect verbally demanded money and cell phones, did the second suspect express or say anything during the entire incident. In a tanda again, of course, you're going to mention that. Oh, because from our mind, another was big. Now, when we see logs, we're going to be able to go to the work area. We're going to have a number of people on our cell phones. In a bit, we're going to have a number of people on our cell phones. I don't know. No, nothing. And during, I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. And during the entire incident, did the first and the second suspect communicate amongst each other? They didn't speak to each other because we also we didn't we were not uh, speaking to each other to each other. My lord, at this stage would be an appropriate uh, opportunity to, to take the short adjournment. Okay. <coughs> <coughs>